Hi there Booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm talking about something really exciting and that is Book Voyage Read Around the World. This is a book subscription and the owners of this very kindly reached out to me and asked if I would be interesting, uh, interested in unboxing a package, one of their subscription boxes on my channel. Um, obviously this is my own review so this will be all my own thoughts and feelings and I wasn't paid to do this, they just very kindly sent me the box for free and I'm super excited as well because they've offered you guys a discount code if it's something you're interested in. So what I really liked about this company is that Book Voyage says that they're all about world peace and they feel that reading and literature is a big part in helping to achieve that. So every box that is sent out is country themed so each month there is a different country and within the box you receive a book which is written by a critically acclaimed local author translated into English. You receive a hot drink so a tea or a coffee from that country or is to do with that country and you receive a savoury or sweet snack that's also associated with that country and I just really love that idea and if you know at the moment I'm currently on holiday which is why my backdrop looks a bit different and I thought wow that really fits in great with the holiday theme so I'm really in excited about unboxing this let's get stuck in and see what they've sent so here's the box let's unwrap it now okay so let's open it up Ooh. oh it looks beautiful oh my goodness it smells amazing in here um, and there's a little card in here that says um, we hope you enjoy your box I, I'm loving the look of it so far um, in here the first thing I see is medium roast filter ground coffee um, this is Nicaragua Matagalpa coffee with a great body undertones of chocolate and a complex fruity aroma oh my goodness I love coffee so I'm very excited about trying this um, I can't wait Whoa. and then the next thing I see is ooh, sweet yellow plantain chips I love plantain um, we went on holiday a couple of years back for my brother's wedding he got married in a really small island and they introduced me to plantain for the first time and oh my god I love it these look yummy and then finally in here is the book. Oh, and the book is, oh, it's very nicely wrapped. It's called, It's Just a Movie by Earl Lovelace. Let's have a look and see what this is about. It says, in Trinidad, the 1970 Black Power Rebellion is over. Its leaders rounded up. Sonny Boy, desperate to be recognised as one of them, forces the uninterested police to arrest him. King Carla, a singer, returns from detention and is sidelined in the Calypso tent, his music dated and unfashionable. They now hope to make their names in the movie that is being shot on the island, but that does not, extend, does not end as expected. Still in search of recognition, Sonny Boy goes back to his hometown of Cascadu, and so we follow him and the townsfolk through their experiments in music, politics, religion and love, as in their day-to-day -day adventures, be it a game of cricket, the short life of a corner shop, or a miracle at a funeral, they begin to see more clearly what their community has to offer for its liberation. And it says, humorous and serious, sad and uplifting, is just a movie, is a radiant novel about small moments of magic in ordinary life this sounds really good this isn't necessarily something that I would pick up for myself but I think this is this sounds really interesting actually um, and together with the coffee and the plantain chips re I really like this I can't obviously tell you much more until I've read the book but um, yeah I'm really excited to get stuck into this one and it sounds like it's it feels very like holiday-ish to me um it feels like it's going to be transporting me to this country we're going to find out more about their culture and more about the community so I'm really liking this I'm really tempted now to um sign up to this every month I shouldn't be because of shelf slam but maybe this is something that I could cheat and treat myself to okay so I've also found this card in the box 
books and it just tells us a little bit more. Um, about the book it says, the Financial Times quoted, over the 50 years of his writing career Lovelace has chronicled the racial and cultural diversity of his birthplace with affection and sharp-eyed humour. So that's really interesting and Faber and Faber said sad and uplifting, humorous but never mocking, is just a movie is a warm gentle novel about small moments of magic in ordinary life. That sounds really good as well. And then a little bit about the coffee. It says, grown on the hillside of Matagalpa by a small community dedicated to self-sufficiency and ecological sustainability, this coffee is strictly high grown, meaning that the coffee was grown at high altitudes, which allows the bean to develop slower, resulting in a denser, high quality bean. It is smooth and versatile with a great body, rich and sweet, full of chocolatey flavours, with some subtle notes of orange and other fruits. That sounds amazing. And then here about the crisps, it says plantain is the Caribbean's answer to the humble potato. Just as versatile, but much tastier. Plantains are members of the banana family, but are more dense and less sweet. They the distasty treat is the perfect reading snack. And I can tell you now it's gonna be my snack because as I said before, plantain chips, were what I lived off when I went to my brother's wedding. Um, so this is a Trinidad and Tobago, Caribbean, Nicaragua, Jamaica. This is our Read the Caribbean box. Um, perfect for this time of year and holidays. Um, so hashtag Read the Caribbean. So as I said, the kind people at Book Voyage have very nicely offered a discount code for you all. And if you follow the link down below to their website, um, and when you put in, uh, when you if you subscribe, even if you choose to do a one-off box or a three-month or nine-month or 12-month subscription, if you put in the discount code Eleanor Reads Books 10, and I'll put that down here for you to see, then you will get 10% off your subscription. Now they explained this to me, that's not just 10% off the first box, that's 10% off the whole subscription. So say you decide you want to sign up for a three-month subscription, you'll get 10% off that three month subscription. If you then decide to renew for another three months, you will also get 10% off of that as well. So this is a really good deal. I really like the idea of books from other countries. Um, as you know that I did the round the world challenge with Janet recently where we read books from other countries and books about other cultures and countries. So I'm really interested in picking up this one um, especially and I can't wait to see if I enjoy it. And if I do, I'll definitely be buying this box for myself. So thank you very much to them for sending it to me. And let me know if you decide to go and treat yourself as well and uh, what you think of it, because I'm really excited about trying these plantain chips. I can keep seeing them out the corner of my eye. I think, I think I'm gonna go and have them now. So it is holiday after all. Anyway, that's it from me. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now, booktube.